You're celebrating 10 years of operation in the Middle East and you're continuing to open new operations in the region. Uh, that is correct, Scott. We are going to be opening uh, Saudi Arabia very soon. We're going to sign that agreement uh, tomorrow, as a matter of fact, uh, as well as Jordan. And uh, we continue to have good momentum in the region. Tell us a little bit about your success in the region. Uh, well, the uh, region has been growing and growing uh, steadily. It's an important region for us uh, globally and is really contributing to the uh, positive momentum the uh, Dollar Thrifty Automotive Group has worldwide. What do you think the next 10 years will have and hold? Ah, the next 10 years, uh, interesting question. Uh, again, we see uh, travel uh, continuing to grow, certainly in the near future, uh, and we think that'll continue. Uh, world economies, I wish I could tell you, Scott, uh, what happens there, but uh, you know, hopefully uh, the things that are happening today, uh, the things we learned from the recession uh, are making uh, companies a little bit more stable, a little bit more frugal or uh, thrifty, if you will. Uh, and I think that'll bode well for the future, our ability to take advantage of good times, our ability to uh, survive difficult times. Tell us how you're communicating your new initiatives to your customers. Uh, we, uh, we, we are very active as far as the internet is concerned and so we do a lot of communication over the internet. Uh, we communicate directly with our customers uh, predominantly by, via email uh, today and certainly do a lot of our promotions over the internet. We're very active with all the major aggregators worldwide. Uh, we have a very active website uh, in the U.S. and we're starting to plant websites all over the world uh, which will be communicating directly to the retail customer enabling them uh, to book dollar and thrifty uh, anywhere they want in the world in a much more uh, consumer friendly uh, more customer friendly way